Hello. Today I'm giving a quick review of the Espresso Forge. It's a manual piston uh, espresso machine, effectively, um, that was designed to be portable. Um, it's about as mechanically um, simple, efficient, I guess, as, as one could make it. It's uh, effectively a um, 58 millimeter group with a very long narrow shaft to make it easier to generate the nine bar pressure needed to make a quality espresso. There is a manometer on here so you can see how much um, pressure it is you're applying. The nine bar, the needle is, is over here somewhere and if you uh, want you can create that desired slowly descending throughout the shot pressure profile that a lot of people like on spring levers and such. Um, I suppose you could compare this uh, tangentially to an aero press. However, this can reach pressures that an aero press could only really hope to strive for. So, uh, without further ado, I guess, um, basically you need some ground coffee in a basket. This is a 58 millimeter basket. That's a 58 millimeter group. So one nice thing about this that I've noticed is you can, if you prefer a different basket than what comes with it, this is an HQ basket. If you prefer different baskets that come with it, you can switch out the basket. You could even switch out actually the shower screen. Um, so you could put uh, an IMS shower screen if you wanted to. Um, I was thinking about doing that just because they require less maintenance. Um, other than that, I added the funnel myself to make it easier to pour boiling water into the shaft, but if you let some dribble over, it's not going to make much difference. So, really, besides the coffee and something to drink the coffee in, the only other required element here is hot water. Um, so, I've got some water boiling on the kettle right now, and I will go ahead, and it's a little difficult to operate with one hand, so I'm going to have to use my makeshift tripod here. There we are. Okay. So, basket goes into the portafilter ring, like so, alright, which then screws onto the bottom of the espresso forge. Sorry about the angle here. I'm not even exactly sure if I'm in shot right now. Okay. Get it on nice and tight. There we are. Make sure the pressure gauge is in view. Almost. There we go. Okay. I had some requests to weigh the shot, so I'm going to do that as well, actually. Put my funnel in. Okay. And now we pour the water. It's a little difficult, even with the funnel, to not overpour, basically because it's a long, narrow shaft that's opaque. So, and see, I just overpoured. So, basically, what that means is the water level comes up right on you. Um, just as you can see the water, you're basically overpouring. And here's the push. Slowly descending the pressure now throughout the pull. Give it one last little push for good measure, and now we're going to weigh it. All right, came out about 28 grams. You can pull up a little bit on the piston, stop the dripping. So this one came out at 28 grams. Um, in some other previous shots I've done, I've had really nice Tiger modeling on it. I'm using a slightly different grinder this time. I use the Faros 
from Orphan Espresso in the other videos. I'm using Alito 3 in this one. Um, as you can see, I've still got a decent layer of crema on it, at least four um, piston lever machines. Didn't quite get the tiger stripe modeling that I like, um, but if it still tastes good, I'm not going to complain. Yeah, that's good, nice and smooth. So that is the Espresso Forge. So, I realized as I was cleaning it out after that shot that um, I hadn't really talked about my impressions of the Espresso Forge or even really talked about the, the cleanup procedure. Um, the cleanup procedure is, is rather straightforward. Uh, actually, the creator of the Espresso Forge talks about uh, his preferred cleanup procedures on videos on his website. Um, but basically, you unscrew the porta filter from the base of the group, um, dump out any residual water because there will be some water left in it uh, unless you've done um, more presses after the shot to, to expel all that extra water. Uh, and uh, basically, with the basket, just you knock it on a knock box or into a garbage or something like that to knock the, the extra grounds out. Um, the, the, you'll either have a dry puck or a soupy one depending on whether you've pushed out the rest of the water. Um, my impressions of it after having used it for about a week and a half on it is it's uh, really grown on me. Um, I uh, wanted this device specifically to have something to be able to travel with to throw into my backpack or my go bag and uh, uh, be able to have real high quality coffee wherever I want to go and this device delivers. Um, it's not the most convenient to use but uh, anything that's built to be in a, in a travel package usually isn't. Uh, you have to trade some convenience here for the quality of the coffee that, that can come out of it. Um, some accessories that I would say are, are essential uh, would be a, a stand of some sort. So here I went with the uh, basically the the lab beaker stand that was available on the website and the uh, the pressure gauge. The pressure gauge in my opinion is is tantamount to learning how to use this device properly. Um, if you are getting something that like my first shots were that were very thin, no crema, um, weak body, uh, that correlated with not being able to get enough pressure on the piston, which meant that I had to ground fine or, or updose, and uh, it was a quick fix, basically, um, to know what was going on, and that, that pressure gauge there, that manometer there, gives you a lot of visibility in that regard. So I would suggest if you're going to get this device, get that as well. Um, other devices, an Orphan Espresso dosing funnel. I always uh, use these dosing funnels because they're just so convenient to pop over. Um, a basket and uh, when you're shaking grounds out of a hand grinder like when you're on the go it, it, it really reduces a lot of the mess and make sure that if you ground 14 16 grams of coffee 14 16 grams of coffee make it into your basket um, the mirror here this is a little uh, see what's going on on the underside mirror um, this is effectively a naked porta filter right there's no spouts here um, so if you want to see what's going on, you can get a get a mirror while you're pressing. You can have a good look at the pressure you're pushing and the the extraction coming out of the bottom of the um, of the espresso forge, and that, and that really helps you diagnose your device uh, your shots as well. And of course, a funnel for boiling the water because um, the water is going to come down the shaft if you overpour, which tends to happen frequently. Um, as far as pricing on this, I think um, even if you get the what I would consider the, scent, the essential accessory of the pressure gauge and, uh, and a stand like this, these legs screw out so it does kind of fold up pretty flat for traveling. I think even still it's under $300. Um, and this makes fantastic espresso, much better espresso than any other device I've ever seen at the $300 point range, unless you're looking at uh, 
a used Euro Piccola and you get you get lucky for for one that that, that arrives in perfect shape or something like that. Um, so I would say that I'm happy with this device um, and uh, uh, I'm happy with the purchase. Thank you.